Hello. This recording accompanies the publication of our paper, Long Range Failure Tolerant Entanglement Distribution. This is a theoretical protocol for creating a, a stream of entangled qubits between Alice and Bob, who are understood to be very remote from one another. Our protocol assumes that there is a series of technology components called repeater stations that span the gap between Alice and Bob. We aim for um, a good scalability so that if the distance between Alice and Bob were increased, we would need to scale the uh, resources we, we, we require only um, little worse than linearly. Moreover, wherever we uh, attempt entanglement between two components, whether they be within a repeater station or between two successive repeater stations, we assume we are much more likely to fail than to succeed. So here's how the protocol goes. Within each repeater station, we cook up some small-scale entangled objects, which are as depicted here. These are graph state diagrams where each dot is a qubit and each line represents an entanglement relationship. There are two kinds of object here, a tree graph state and a snowflake graph state. These are purposed for two different things. The tree graph states are aimed at creating entanglement between successive uh, repeater stations. So we look at a couple of trees in two different repeater stations and we aim using our long range entanglement channel to fuse their cores together. If we succeed, we will then create an entity called a dumbbell graph state. If we, if we fail, then we will have consumed and destroyed our two trees and we simply must have enough trees that we will create an adequate number of dumbbells. Then in the second uh, step of our protocol, we fuse together all these small scale entangled entities across the entire technology. And in fact, this can be done in one time step. So the idea is that we schedule uh, attempts at entanglement between the leaf nodes in different uh, neighboring small structures. Here we have four such uh, scheduled attempts. And the idea is that our dumbbells and snowflakes are made sufficiently large in the first place that there are enough attempts that um, at least one attempt is likely to succeed. But we can schedule all our attempts uh, to take place simultaneously because they're independent of one another. And when we make this uh, attempt, we assume what we expect to see that um, on the whole, there will be at least one successful bridge between every pair of these entities. In this diagram, there's exactly one successful um, such pairing. But of course, there could be more than one, and that's fine. It's also acceptable if in some places we've um, failed outright to connect two of these entities, as long as the proportion is small. Now, the next step is to tidy this up and remove all the interstitial qubits, leaving behind only the cores of the snowflakes. So that leads to a much simpler structure like this. And then zooming out, we see that this is um, how we have achieved large scale entanglement, but spanning the region all the way between Alice and Bob through a series of local qubit qubit entanglements. Now, the structure that we actually will be shooting for is a three dimensional topologically protected cluster state as studied by uh, Robert Rausendorf and co-workers. So this inset here shows the pattern that we're, we're going for. However, there will be some void regions, some regions where we have not entangled qubits. And this is deliberate because by achieving, by implementing two such uh, long running voids, as in shown in this diagram, when we then uh, measure out with single qubit measurements, all but a few of our qubits in the entire technology, the result will be two remaining regions, one in the um, area of the controlled by Alice and one in Bob's domain. And these two regions will each represent a topologically encoded single qubit. But moreover, the two qubits will be entangled with one another in a Bell state. So in this way, we create robustly a pair of entangled qubits with Alice and Bob. And then the technology is available for um, a second cycle to create a second such pair.